Okay. Captions. Yes, <laughs> captions. Uh, if you've been to track one, you know that we have captions, but track one has them live, and for track two, you need to visit the URL if you need to access them. Right. This is it. Okay. Yeah. Hi. So, um, as Ed said, it's my first conference talk, so I'm really nervous. And if I go and run screaming out there, please don't follow me, okay? I will just go and hide somewhere. I want to start with a question for you, and I want you to put your hands up if the answer is yes. So, have you ever been, or have you ever hidden on a toilet during a big event? Hands up if the answer is yes. Nice. It's, it looks like I'm in good company because um, that's me on a tech conference. But let's start at the beginning. Who am I? I'm Miriam, and I started my working life as an industrial management assistant working in office management. I also worked in dog training for about nine years, focusing on one-to-one -one coaching for dogs with behavior issues like aggression and stuff like that. And since last year, I'm working as a front-end developer, and I'm really happy that I'm able to make this form a hobby into a job. And there's one thing that you need to know about me for today, and that is, I don't order food at home. And, okay, let's be precise. I love food, and I love ordering food. I just hate to call and to order it. And I never open the door when the pizza comes, ever. I have never done this in my whole life. I'm completely stressed out even thinking about talking to the pizza person. And talking to people I don't know in general is scaring the heck out of me. And that is why I'm hiding on toilets on conferences. So what's up with that? Um, it's social anxiety. And social anxiety is the fear of social situations that involves um, interactions with other people of any kind. And you can find social anxiety in people who describe themselves as shy, as um, introverted, or socially awkward like me. And the social anxiety disorder, that's the clinical form, is the third largest mental health care problem worldwide today. And social anxiety is nothing new. And I just see I have an arrow in a slide, one moment. Of course, something has to... Yeah, I shouldn't have edited it today. Yeah. So, social anxiety is nothing new. Um, that is one of the first descriptions you can find about it, and it's from 6021. And I will read it to you, so you don't have to read and listen to me. And it's, he dare not come into company for fear he should be misused, um, disgraced, overshoot himself in gestures or speeches, or be sick. He thinks every man observes him. And honestly, when I read that the first time, I felt personally attacked, because that's exactly how I feel when I'm talking to new people. And social anxiety is actually a good thing and it's an inherent behavior that is really helpful because it's good to be careful when you meet new people um, because it could keep you safe from harm. But it's a behavior that didn't adapt well to our society, especially in a field like our field where being bold is a good thing because you can build a network. And like I told you, I'm working as a front-end developer since last year and the longer I immersed myself in that world, the more all these conferences and big events seem just like the place to be. It's a place where you go and you meet awesome people, you meet famous people, you get new inspirations and you build a network. It's just like a place where magic can happen. If you go there, that is. I didn't, I stayed at home. And every time I followed a conference hashtag on Twitter, I felt sad. I felt sad, I felt frustrated, and I felt angry at myself because I felt like I missed an opportunity. So what to do? I will tell you what I did. I complained, like a lot, 
a long time, and I felt very sorry for myself. And then, on a random evening, sitting on the sofa, watching some Netflix, I talked with my husband about the concept of an onboarding buddy. That is, when you are new in a company, you have someone who is at your side, and who introduces you to people and show you all the new things. And it's just someone who is a safe place and someone who helps you to ease in. And I said, ha, guess what? I need a conference buddy, huh? And then I paused. And I said, wait, I really need this. And I looked it up and there was, there was no such a thing. But I cannot be the only one, right? To show you some numbers from our community, um, I took a poll on Twitter, and 25% of these people have stayed at home from an event where they wanted to go just because they knew nobody there. So, no, obviously I'm not the only one. So, back to that moment on the sofa. Um, that was the moment I stopped, mostly, um, complaining about having a problem, and I started trying to be a solution. I made a simple website just telling people about my idea to create a place where you can find companions for tech conferences. And I tweeted about it. I just wanted to see if there was any need out there. And boy, there was. Um, it hit a nerve in the community. I got amazing feedback. And the crazy thing is that this idea evolved within a few days. People started to send tweets with a specific hashtag looking for conference buddies or offering to be conference buddies. And the first successes were made simply over a few tweets. That's me at my first conference, where I found two conference buddies, um, just thanks to Twitter and this idea. So conference buddy is an ongoing project, and it's what I did, trying to be a solution. And it's what I still do, obviously. And why I'm talking about this today is of course, I want you to know about my project, because the more people join, the better. But even more, I want you to be aware. I want you to be aware that there is a problem, and there are people that are affected by it. And that also means that there's a chance. There's a chance for us as a community to be more inclusive. And there are a few things you and every one of you can do, can easily do, to help. Be sensible if you notice discomfort in someone about the topic. If you hear sentences like, oh, I wanted to go to the meetup, but I was way too scared, or I didn't know somebody there, be sensible for something like that. And talk about what you heard today. Talk about your moments of social anxiety, if you had any. And speak to conference or meetup organizers about offering a buddy program for people like me. Introduce people when they don't know each other. Whenever someone new joins a group, whenever you think two people should meet. And follow the Pac-Man rule on events. That means when you are standing in a group of people, always leave room for at least one person to join in. Last but not least, offer to be a conference buddy the next time you visit an event. And if you are like me and sometimes hide on toilets, I want to tell you three things and that are, you are not alone. That's the important one, you are not alone. There are so many people out there that are feeling the way we are feeling. And the amazing thing I learned working on Conference Buddy is there are so many helpful and supportive and warm and kind people out there in our community. And I want to help you to make this experience because I know you cannot just believe my words, you have to experience it. And the thing is, you still have to do the hard thing. You have to put yourself out there, and you have to say that you want support and that you need support. I'm trying to create a community where you hopefully feel safe to do so. And I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this because I am you. And if you put yourself out there and do the hard thing, I will be there, but even better is a growing community of really amazing people will be there to help you. So you can do this. If I did it, you can do it too. And that's it. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Um, <laughs>
Thank you.